Hello everybody, my name is Rolak, and welcome back to Pokemon Soul Silver. In the last episode, we made our way through the Route 20 Ocean Route, made our way to Cinnabar Island, which has been decimated by a volcano, and we made our way to Seafoam Islands, where we battled the Gym Leader Blaine, promptly defeated him, and transitioning into this episode, we are going to be exploring the Seafoam Islands, after I fuck up that stupid strength puzzle there. All right. So yeah, Seafoam Islands is quite big. I cannot remember for life me that it was this big in the original games. God damn it, I did it again. You know what? Come on to these ones. So I'm not, I can't remember for the... Oh my god. All right, off to a great start. Good job, me. I'm probably going to run out of repels in this area. Okay. Move you aside. Move you. I think. Is that not how we... How do we do this? You're not being very clear on that matter. Okay, so... How does this... Oh, no, we just push this up, and then we push the one side. Yeah, it's just same strength puzzle. Come on, there we go. Okay. Alright, so yeah, see if my island's got quite a bit of... How many... What Pokemon can we actually encounter in this area? Probably not a thing new. Because we've pretty much encountered almost every single Pokemon we can find in the entire game as of now. Yeah, there's nothing really anything new here. Can't even find Sneasel here, which is kind of stupid. Alright. <clears throat> so, Seafoam Islands. This place is huge, so I got maps up and ready to go. Don't know exactly where to go just yet, but we're going to be finding our way eventually. Yeah, this place is really big. I don't think we can go over to the left side, but we'll head down these. That leads us up here. Some trainers to fight as well as some slidey slides. I think we'll just cut these guys out because it's not really all that important. There's another guy to the right, so we'll cut him out as well. Alright, so using this guy as a little stopping point, we can head over to this one, which leads us down further. And we got another slidey puzzle, which is going to be fun. Oh, we got ice sliding puzzles too! Great! How is this going to fucking work? Um, How do we make this work? What do we need to do here? Do we just need this? We just need to slide away, don't we? Yeah. Just need to slide it away so we can actually... No, we were supposed to get one over there so we can actually stop correctly. Okay. This is the bottom floor, so we're not going to be exploring that just yet. So we'll knock aside this one. Then we'll knock aside... Put our rappel back up. We don't want to hit it... We don't want to hit them together because they will get stuck together. And now we just hit this one over here. And that should make us a good stopping point for us to go over here. There we go. And more puzzles. Okay, so how are we going to do this then? Um, ideally, we want to make... Okay, I got it. Hopefully, I think. Um, so we want to put another one here so we can get to that item. And I think we might be able to do so just by doing this, actually. Wait, we need more force. There we go. Um, oh, well, that doesn't really help. Um, actually, nope, that doesn't help at all. Okay. Oh, wait, no, oh, wait, there we go. Big pearl, nice. Well worth it. <laughs> I don't think I did it the right way, but it was, it was a way to do it. Okay. There's actually more items for us to grab around in the upper area, and I think... We can't actually get to where we want to go just yet. I should probably be using this a bit more. There we go. an item in this area. Surf. Um, is it over there? I think it is over there. Ignore that. <laughs> be getting to that in just a moment. All right, and now we're back up here, which doesn't really have a lot for us to go for, but we'll go up here, I guess, and this will lead us where exactly? Up on the bridge. Nope, get out of the menu. There we are. Pearl, nice. This will lead us back down, which will lead us down more. Wait, no, this is actually the way we need to go. Wait, so how do we get to there, then? Well, you know what? We might as well do it, just since we're here, because, you know, why the hell not? Surf, 
And here we are. Okay. Um, <laughs> so yeah, we got Articuno here again. Same place as before. Red apparently didn't keep it, so that's uh, interesting. Um, I'm going to do a little state save. There we go. And let's go. So yes, Articuno, the ice flying type legendary bird of Kanto. I don't know much about Articuno. All I know is that it's kind of bulky, and I think it's a pretty good Pokemon. <laughs> I can't really tell you that for certain. Um, but yeah, Articuno is probably one of the better of the legendary birds. I think it's second only to Zapdos for being the better choice. Um, and we are obviously going to be trying to catch it, because that's the goal that we're going to be doing today with all the catching of the legendary Pokemon. Well, not today specifically. Is that too much? Okay. We have an issue. <laughs> That's a very big issue there. Um, signal beam? We're not going to be catching all the legendary Pokemon this episode. That's a bit too much. Okay, so discharge deals way too much, but signal beam is just too little. Okay, that's annoying. Um, what can we do to weaken you that won't kill you? Um, let's send out Wayne and see if we can do something if it doesn't use a ice type move. If it does, I'm going to be very upset. Son of a bitch. Is that going to kill him? No, it's not. Okay. Um, cross poison? Wow, that doesn't do a lot. Um, okay. Let's use Yamoja. And, uh, do you have this ice beam? Okay, that can work. Ooh, there we go. That's perfect. Okay. Thankfully, she doesn't have any... Or he doesn't have any... Recovery moves, so we're free to just throw some balls at it. We're probably going to be here for a while. Thankfully, it's paralyzed. Why are these catching so easily? <laughs> that was the third ball I threw at it. <laughs> it shouldn't be this easy. <laughs> One of the legendary bird Pokemon. It shields moisture in the atmosphere to create snow while flying. It was not supposed to be that easy. <laughs> I should not be getting this lucky with this kind of shit. Oh my god. Didn't Wasn't Lugia like five balls as well? Where did it drop? Oh, Zinc. All right. Yeah, I had to th throw like five balls at Lugia, didn't I? I mean, I know I'm getting like lucky and shit, but that guy... Didn't Chuck Conroy catch the Articuno in his uh, Fire Red Let's Play on like the third ball as well? <laughs> I'm pretty sure he did. I can't remember exactly, but I think that is what happened in that instance. He was so shocked that he couldn't even finish what he was saying <laughs> while he was battling it. Ooh, a rare candy. Nice. All right, now we're back up here. I think we're going to be doing a full loop around. Which should... What does this have? A revive. Does this have any TMs in this place at all? I feel like it should at least have one TF. TM. TF. Twist fate. Um, Where is this leading? Okay, doesn't have any items here. Oh, back here. Okay. Um, what is? Oh, okay. So up left is the exit, but we want to just head back downstairs real quick over here, so we can actually get to uh, the, this item, a water stone. Nice. I'll evolve Eevee into Vaporeon, uh, Fish Shelter in the Cloister. You name it. All right, and through this, I believe, I think this is it, yeah, this is it, yeah. yeah. All right, cool, we made it to the other side. All right, that Seafoam Island's pretty much completely cleared out. I'm pretty sure we got everything that was needed there. Ooh, wait a minute. Did we really miss? Oh, shit, we did. Whoops, hang on. <laughs> all right, so in this room, I completely ignored the all the stuff up here. Because this actually leads to somewhere that we can actually head to. And I think what we need to do here... Let's figure out what the fuck we need to do first. Um, how do we... Wait, hang on. Let me do it like this. <sighs> okay, first we put on a fucking rappel so we can actually get ahead in ourselves here. Okay, I think we slide here, slide here. Wait, no, that doesn't make sense. What? How does this work? Slide here, but we can't do anything of that... Oh, we have to. Oh, we have to push this up, right? Where exactly? Uh, that's the tricky part. Um, like where exactly do we need to put this rock? 
Wait, no, we need to put it... What the hell do we do here? Like... Um... There we go. Okay, that's what we need to do. Okay. There we go. And since we can just go from here... There we go. This better be a good item and worth it. What is it? An Ultra Ball! Alright. Why not? <laughs> Is there anything else we can get down here? No, not really. Man, we got we didn't get that item over there. Where do we actually go for that? Oh, it's just the bloody staircase that's just right in the middle of the goddamn floor in this room. That I completely ignored for the ice sliding puzzle, which was down to the left. This one right here. This will lead us down to this little island right here, which will also lead us to this item. Which is TM13 Ice Beam. There we go. Normally, we already have it since we got it at the game corner, along with Flamethrower and Thunderbolt, I think it was. Hopefully, this puts us at the east side exit, or west side exit. Did it? It did. Okay. All right. So, um, with that... Has Sand always made the grass noise? Okay, that's interesting. All right. So, we're back on Route 20. Um... The thing is, there's a whole other area for us to fight trainers, and there are quite a bit of trainers left. God, that's a lot of trainers. Alright, um, it's not a whole lot, but there is quite a bit. So, we are going to be cutting out pretty much all of them, or we're going to be speeding through all of them. And we'll just keep Zap out front. Okay, so, uh, yeah, let's go for another montage.
All right, and that is that. We have made a full... Ooh, hello, what do we have here? Max Luxor, all right. With that, we have made our full, complete loop around Kanto, practically exploring every single location we have. Started off in Vermilion City, hang around here, did a little loop around here, went around, all the way around, up to Pier, down to Viridian, Cinnabar, and finally back to here. So we have fully explored Kanto to its fullest. Now then, you might be thinking, well, what's next? Well, that's a good question. We're actually almost done with the entirety of this region. So there's not a whole lot for us to do. Uh, we do have one more gym battle to the challenge, so um, we're gonna be swapping. <clears throat> God, my throat's getting kind of buggy now. It's not good. We will not be moving Articuno in. Uh, we will be moving Skullcracken in, and I think we're actually gonna be able to actually challenge something else aside from blue. Now then, um, uh, am I correct in this statement? Go to the power plant. All right. All right. I was incorrect in my statement. Uh, we're going to be doing that in possibly the next episode, actually. So, without any further delay, let's go pay Blue a little visit because we're probably going to have to tell him the good news that we actually have all the badges except for his. Not now, Todd. I really don't need this. Come to Bellamy for real. Come to the Verdian gym. I'll be waiting for you. Should we fight Blue this episode? We could go for three episodes. Nah, you know what? I think we've had enough for battling in this episode. Um, we did explore pretty much the entirety of Sea Foam Islands. We did battle quite a bit of trainers here and there. And we also had a you know, fight with Articuno, which didn't last long at all. <laughs> but uh, we did manage to <clears throat> um, catch it. We managed to do quite a bit of things in the episode. So I think today's been a pretty good run for the episode. So... Next time on Pokemon Soul Silver, we are going to be heading into the Viridian Gym and challenging Blue, which is our final gym challenge for Kanto. See you guys next time.